Hi. Dobre jutro, mi jam Drut. Mi jam Zavuk Vendra Kakzila. Welcome back to my new YouTube channel. Um, once again, I'm in, the place. I'm in the smoke room at the place I don't want to be. But I'm here because they pay me. On break. Heaters going. Loudest. Hey. Both of them. Both of those are heaters. That thing on the ceiling. Up. Yeah, right here. Heater. This. Heater. This is a better heater. I don't know what that be doing sometimes, but it be doing. But today I came to. Oh, do I talk to y'all? Encourage y'all? Open your horizons? All the above. But I came to talk to y'all about um, watch out for people disguising their hate as advice. Because people will put put what they hate, what they're hating on or jealous of about you and try to get you to get rid of it so they don't have to see it on you no more. And they're just weird. And I can speak from experience being a man with hair. So many, and listen, this is the crazy part. A lot of times I have never been approached a lot of times I don't even get approached by dudes who have gone completely bald, who shave their who shave their hairs bald. Don't never have nothing to say about me having hair or how long my hair is, like or me growing my hair out. But niggas who keep low haircuts or has start balding always want to come up to me. So it's about time to cut it, ain't it? You gonna cut it, ain't it? Or they see me just combing it or doing something with. It. Or doing something with it to make it look better. They take it as, oh, I don't know what to do with it. Like, oh, it's getting man unmanageable, ain't it? It's unruly. About time to cut it, ain't it? I'm be looking like, you little hater. And with black, with a lot of black men, a lot of black men won't tell you they actually want long hair. The ones who super go hard at due to have who, those black dudes who keep their hair short. And I always talk down on dudes who let their hair grow to the, to the, just a little bit. They talk down on them. Those dudes jealous and nine times out of ten feel like they don't have a hair type that is desirable. And a lot of it is due to dudes don't know how to actually do their hair and need a female to do their hair for them. Thus leading dudes trying to compete with me when I have, when I do my own hair. So, if you got someone who can cut and braid their own hair and straighten and curl and like do wash and goes on all their own hair, why would you try to? Why do you think I'm having a hard time? I come up here with a different hairstyle every day. My hair always looks nice. My hair never looks busted. You're jealous. You're jealous that I have hair and looks nice and is well taken care of. You think it's some outside source or some outside force taking care of it, and when you, so you say, oh, you ain't gonna, what you gonna do when you move out from your mother, or what you gonna do when your girl stops doing your hair for you, or you break up with your girl. One, mother, my mother's not allowed in my head. She ruined that for herself with them hot combs. My grandma's not allowed in my head either. All my aunties, all of them hot, st hot stuff. Hot combs and flat irons have gotten them out have gotten them a permanent ban from my head. So, I don't want to hear all that, but somebody in my family does my hair. Nope. None of my cousins do touch my hair. I don't have no girlfriend. So, I don't have to work. Hey, so, she don't, I don't have a girlfriend, so I don't have no girl doing my hair. It's all me doing my own hair. I don't pay, I don't have to pay no way to do my hair. Is that... And the fact that I don't have to pay and I do all this myself and it doesn't turn out busted, it turns out looking nice. Just in case y'all wondering, yes, it does turn out looking nice. I cut and braided my own hair last night. And these braids, as you see, everything is properly done. I didn't get myself a line. I hardly ever, I don't really believe in lining myself up or getting lines. But. That's just something I don't do, don't believe in doing. And 
I've had dudes actually get mad at me when I told them I don't get lines because they come up to me, oh, you got a haircut. That's, it's about time you cut that shit. You finally got yourself a fresh line up. Like they say it with animosity. So I have to inform them, oh, no, I just took the clippers last night and knocked my hair down and I ain't even lying to shit. And they'd be like, oh, you, you lied, you went to a barber and shit. I'm like, nah. Nah, son. I don't have to do all that. I don't have to lie myself up. It's, my natural hairline is good enough. But you also got people. But that's just one example. And that's just a reoccurring example with other males. And had, let's see. Yeah. Like, beware of people who give you backhanded compliments. If you have tattoos or piercings like that, oh, that's like, it's a, it's a different way of saying, I wouldn't do that. Like, that whole, oh, you got those? Well, I wouldn't do that, but on you, it's good. That's just, that's not a backhanded compliment. That's just like, oh, that ain't my shit. That ain't my style. And I typically don't fuck with people up in that style, but you, you're the exception. That's all that is. But... I could never, I would never, better you than me. Oh, that's good for you. All those are backhanded compliments and are saying like, oh, I think that shit whack or I think that shit lame or I don't have the confidence of myself to go out up in the world and present myself in that way. People are jealous. People are jealous of things you never think they would be jealous of. People. And. I don't know how to word this, but. Sometimes. The compliments you give reveal a lot about. Like. How people personally view things and certain features. Like. Certain features. You'll be so. <laughs> I don't get complimented on like a particular facial feature. I just get complimented on my face. Like it's a nice face. And you gotta watch for people who call out certain features of yours because a lot of time that's an insecurity they have within themselves or they have because they fear they ch their child might get that feature too because someone in their family has that feature. They looked out on having that feature, but now they're worried that their child might get it and you have it and you're walking around proud with it and it never broke you. So now it's it's making it's making them shake in their boots. Like how dare you be confident of something that I could have had and wouldn't have been confident with confident with. Because I have people constantly trying to bring up my skin tone as to why I shouldn't participate in certain things or why I shouldn't be a part of certain things or why I shouldn't hang with certain types of people or stuff like that. People will really try to make you feel like something about you is off or something about you means that you can't go and be with these type of people. So many times I've heard, you know you're black, right? You know you're dark and you're black. Hanging out with all, hanging out with these white people. Not that most of the time it'd be like one or two other white people. <laughs> and I'm like, y'all really don't have friends outside of y'all own race, do y'all? That's another thing. People will hate that you have friends outside your race. Like, watch people who talk down about other races that they see you hang with. They're jealous. They. They feel up in their mind like you're doing something to me. Like, you're somehow cooler than them. You're somehow better than them. When the truth is, a lot of times, it's that a lot of um, black people don't understand that whole hood shit and being ghetto is played out. You don't have to be a caricature, caricature of a black person from a old timey black movie or a black exploitation film. You don't have to be none of those things. You can just be a person. 
But y'all let haters tell. Again, haters come up and will tell a black person, oh, you're not black enough. That's them hating. You're black. You're visually black. Don't ever. Because that's one of my biggest pet peeves. People, I'm visually black. Meaning, you see me, first sight, you already, you either back and know, black man. Now, sometimes it's confusing a black man from where, although sometimes I'm wearing a hat and I do get um, Arabian. But still, no matter what, I still look like a person of color. So either way it goes, you know I'm a person of color. So don't come up to me saying I'm trying to be white. I'm trying to be your. I'm trying to be more Eurocentric. No, there are certain things I like and certain things I don't like. We live in a Europe. We live in a European colony. People seem to always forget America is a European colony. More uh, to be more direct is a. It is a. It is an English colony. And England conquered America for a good chunk of America and have us speaking English. So you have these. And then what really be pissing me off is when a white person does that stuff because they listen to more rap music than I do or they feel a more kinship to the hood than I do. I'm like, bro, you can feel this kinship to the hood as you want. I grew up there. I don't give a fuck about proving to nobody that I came from there. And that's, that's just what it be most of the time. People are jealous and envious that you've overcome something or you don't let certain things bother you. So now they're, they're trying to make that thing that you're not insecure about your insecurity. But you can't let them do that. So peace Love and positivity, and y'all have a blessed day. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Dislike and leave nasty comments or nice comments. It don't matter. Help me out. But I gotta go. I think my break's over. I ain't. <laughs> and I just had a very nice talk. All right, bye. <laughs>